Welcome back to my series on having a narc free new year. And for those of you who don't know, it's where I'm reading excerpts out of my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the links for it, it is going to be down below. And also if you missed other videos in this series, I will have them at the tail end of this video so you can just click on through. With that said, let's get on with it. All right, we are on page 76 of chapter four, having to do with dealing with a narcissist. Unmet needs create longing. Did you know that? Although we deeply long to go from feeling like a nobody to being a somebody, it somehow evades us. Messages like, you're not special, you're not important, and you're not my priority somehow got conveyed directly or indirectly in childhood. Whether it was intentional or not, this feeling of I'm a nobody is what many of us who are codependent or empathic have felt in our childhoods. We want to go from being a nobody to being a somebody in our adulthood. That's our dream. That's our wish. We deeply long for this, but because of the childhood training that's created this longing, we are prone to the lies of a narcissist, that we're special, that they're special, and that we have some kind of special connection. Why? Because it feeds our fantasy of finally finding healing through conscious connection with another. Here's the problem. Until we deprogram from the faulty childhood programming, then we can't identify healing relationships where this can occur naturally without manipulation and without fear of tuning into what we feel and finding somebody who tunes into that as well because they genuinely want to meet those needs. What often happens is that we create a runner chaser dynamic in relationships which by the way is often mentioned in commentaries about twin flame unions <laughs> here a lot of it on youtube a lot of it okay um and yes in the work that i do the clients that i've had um you know i've had people come to me who believe that they have a twin flame or some kind of soulmate union we've all heard it and i do by the way believe in soulmates but I'm just not a big believer in twin flames. And I've got to put that out there. Whatever you believe is fine by me. Um, but it's just that I find it so curious that we've got this belief system that's becoming popularized right now. Um, this twin flame belief where there is a, you know, a runner chaser dynamic giving some crafty explanation as to why, you know, this dysfunctional <laughs> relationship this sounds so narcissistic, frankly, uh, why it's meant to be and it's faded and it's destined, you know, it feeds the fantasy basically. So if you get rid of the fantasy that there's something special in this connection and you just look at it, look at the facts alone at face value, then you will see that what we've done is recreated our childhood with a narcissistic parent in our adulthood this time with a partner who's also creating emotional distance with this whole runner chaser dynamic nonsense. Think about it. Was your parent like a runner and you were chasing them for attention as a child? Just think about it. Usually the recreated emotional distance is because the partner is overwhelmed by the needs of another and they're afraid of losing control over their false reality or their fabricated reality while the other person or partner who is a codependent empath is then feeling like their emotional needs are not being met. The person with unmet emotional needs might even be protesting about it because they're overwhelmed with a fear of losing control. Notice both have fear, although the fears are different. With a narcissist, it's about a fear of losing self to another. With a codependent, the fear is about losing other to self. These fears leave them feeling alone, unloved, and unworthy, not feeling special, and not having meaning in life. Either way, the chaser, which is the codependent, the empath, is left unable to meet emotional needs in a meaningful connection with another person. Thus, the dysfunctional cycle from childhood continues. The soul wound remains unhealed, not just in the codependent and empath, but also in the narcissist. 
If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.